Hello people, this is George with yet another Color Dragons video and today we are going to speak um, regarding one of the newest additions to the Legendary Hero Squad, uh, the Marksman Fragar. Uh, I have already done a couple of guides regarding heroes but they were epic ones. This is my f uh, second actually uh, Legendary Hero guide first one was about kinara and second one will be regard regarding fragar fragar is a new, not a new hero but not not a uh, old one she is a season 2 hero with, and in my opinion she is very uh, strong and she has her own uniqueness uh, in the game she is actually strong in the battlefield and she is strong in the behemoths. In order for us to understand why Fragar is so strong, we need to understand what her skills are doing and why are they so strong. Uh, first of all, we need to understand that uh, uh, first skill is always like damage factor skill. Uh, and in this case, uh, uh, Fragar's damage factor skill is really low, right? 600. If we're gonna compare to Kinara, 1400. Nico has a 1400. In general, in the game, uh, first skill has the highest damage factor in the game. But this is not the case. Uh, Kinara is auto attack uh, hero. Like you should just still stand and let the hero do its job. Uh, that's why whenever you are. Uh, attacking with Fragar, she uh, receives a focus and crit rate uh, by 60% for 7 seconds. Imagine for 7 seconds you are standing still, you are just attacking, auto attacking and you are getting uh, like crit rate, crit is like almost double damage, right? So if you still have questions what kind of uh, marksman she is, she's auto attacker, uh, auto attacker, you just need to stand still and let the Fragar do its job. Regarding the second skill, uh, like again, normal attack, auto attack is same as normal attack, normal attack damage bonus. The second skill again shows us why this hero is a uh, great uh, normal attacker, and of course, defense bonus is never bad. Uh, third skill is all about uh, marksman unit physical, like every uh, marksman legendary hero has the same uh, passive upgrade and again normal attack crit damage you can see the synergy you get see her crit rate uh, you boost your normal attack and you boost normal attack crit damage so it's like you are uh, normal attacking as much as possible while you are increasing your crit rate and crit rate is basically double damage and yeah uh, again like march speed bonus uh, here you get gain haste and uh, rage accumulation speed is like never a bad thing. Uh, regarding awakening uh, the Fragar mm, uh, deals hero skill damage to the target legion uh, while granting Fragar legion normal attack focus. Again, focus which is giving us crit. Uh, it's all about normal attack damage and it's all about um, like uh, crit and uh, critting as, as much as possible. Uh, Fragar is like marksman, peacekeeping and mobility. Uh, mobility is always good to have. Uh, and let's uh, in general talk about the hero pairs where I think uh, Fragar will be amazing and uh, let's discuss regarding the hero pairs. Uh, first and the, one of the most popular uh, marksman uh, legendary hero pair are Sindrion and Fragar. In order for us to understand why this hero pair is so good, we need to understand what does Sindrian do. Again, uh, the Fragar is normal attack crit uh, critter, uh, and in my opinion, Sindrian is normal attacker. Like she's getting a keen and rapid fire, uh, like in increasing normal attacks. Again, like everything what normal attacks is giving to the hero. It will be great with the Fragar. So, like, uh, attack bonus here, uh, normal attack crit rate, like, you can see the synergy, right? Almost same words, crit rate, normal attack, attack bonus, and every time Sindrian Legion uh, lands uh, five critical hits. Yep, like, you can see the synergy. Uh, Fragar helps you to crit, 
Syndrion helps you to crit, both of them increase normal attack, and Syndrion has synergy with Rhaegar, like whenever you get 5 critical hits, uh, the hero skill damage, is, like the, the Syndrion deals additional damage. Now, well, it was pretty obvious and, uh, why the Syndrion and Rhaegar would be a great and amazing pair, uh, and there is also one more pair, in my opinion, which is um, like totally fine, uh, and it's Kinara with Fregar or Fregar with Kinara. Well, Kinara is like a defense break uh, with a much more tankier version of the Marksman, and if we will see with the skills, uh, Rage Accumulation with Kinara will be great, because Kinara has a, a high skill damage factor of first skill, also, uh, here we have a defense bonus, right? Defense bonus, and Kinara also has, uh, like, target, uh, deal, like, whenever Kinara is using her main skill, like, target is deal dealing with 50% less uh, decreased damage. So, like, uh, the defense uh, plus on the King the Fregar, a reduction of the damage on Kinara, and, of course, counter-attack damage. Uh, and also, like, march speed reduction is same with the Fregar, right? Like, you decrease the march speed on the Kinaro and you increase your march speed on Fregar. Uh, right, like, this is, like, main uh, hero pairs for Fregar. Like, of course, you can always use Nigo, uh, but Nigo and Kinara is, like, a uh, different kind of uh, hero pair, and... Regarding Fregar, like number one uh, version should, should be Syndrion with Fregar, and then I think Inara with uh, Fregar. Uh, regarding like artifacts, like any artifact, like as a free to play player, you don't have a much choice. Like I'm a free to play player, um, like whichever marksman artifact, you, legendary artifact you will get, I guess that will be your best one. But I really, really like Shadow Blades. Uh, if you will get the Shadow Blades, you can easily use it. If not, uh, well, um, let's say with the Epic ones, right at first, Hard Cursor. Uh, where is Hard Cursor? Here. Hard Cursor is like always a good choice if you are if you only have Epic choices. Uh, if you don't have Hard Cursor, like Bomb Flinger, you can you can play with it, but. Uh, marksman uh, legendary artifacts uh, has a brighter choice like uh, here is shadow blades let's go to the uh, shop uh, also i think um, like as, as you can see like you can, there is only shadow blades you can get there is no new event but like any marksman uh, legendary artifact at this point because if you are free to play as me uh, will be uh, totally fine on in a Fregar. Like regarding talent tree, uh, in my opinion, uh, like uh, Fregar is way better as a deputy hero. And like whenever you uh, are trying to upgrade talents on a deputy hero, it simply doesn't do anything. So remember, uh, talents only matter on a on your main hero. Uh, and uh, as I already said, Fregar is like or almost certainly better as a deputy than primary. Uh, even on a Syndrian and Fregar, uh, Fregar is a deputy, and Kinara and Fregar, Fregar is deputy. That's why uh, generally it will be useless to deep, uh, like dig deep inside the talent trees of the Fregar because it simply it won't be useful, but in my opinion Marksman tree uh, with the fully upgraded and half upgraded mobility tree would be uh, the one which I would go, because peacekeeping is only about natural mobs and to get experience and later on in the game you naturally, like you 100% are 50 level at first uh, in the end, but like you don't need to uh, play attention to talent for a uh, deputy hero. Like we already spoke regarding skills, we already spoke regarding hero pairs, talents, um, artifacts. Uh, regarding war pets, again, she's a deputy hero, and we don't need uh, war pets on a deputy heroes. Um, this is the second legendary hero guide uh, uh, on my channel. I will keep doing more and more. 
thanks for watching guys i hope my videos are helping you um, like whenever i see you in the questions in the comment sections that makes me happy because that's it's, well, that's what what i what motivates me that people are enjoying the content i'm making uh, thanks for watching bye bye